All right, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna discuss Keith Thurman going in on Terrence Crawford and specifically his manager, Bo Mack, over what he calls a $10 million lie um, and also tells Team Crawford that he is not Kell Brook. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the subject matter about Keith Thurman and Terrence Crawford, let me take a second to ask you to make sure to go over to my Instagram, Fanon Boxing on Instagram, Fanon Boxing on Twitter. Please follow me in both of those places where you can get throughout the day boxing conversations and talk to me directly and all those good things. If you follow me there, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's talk about Keith Thurman, Terrence Crawford, and this $10 million lie. I am so happy that I listened to this interview with Keith Thurman because um, I think Keith Thurman is a guy that needs to rehabilitate himself in the public eye. However, he is without a doubt a top level welterweight that deserves fights for championships and deserves throughout his body, because of his body of work and his career, deserves to be taken seriously as a contender for the welterweight championship. That is my belief, and that is my belief despite having several years of not saying a lot of good things about Keith Thurman because when Keith Thurman was a champion, the WBC and the WBA champion, uh, it seemed like, seemed like he got a little bit of a prima donna attitude and didn't like it. Talking about fighting Errol Spence Jr., he sounded like a prima donna. Talking about finding, fighting... Terrence Crawford, he sounded like a prima donna, right? Went off and to the hills of Nepal or wherever he went, the mountains of Nepal. He just kind of fell off the map, right? Then he comes back. He looks so-so against Josecito Lopez, but he wins. That should That's a lot to say, by the way, because I just saw Josecito Lopez fight in person. Josecito Lopez is a... I wouldn't call him a contender because I don't think he can beat any of the top guys, but he's a very, very solid fighter. And Keith Thurman came right out of the gate with uh, Jose Cito Lopez. He didn't come out come out right out of the gate with like Julius and Dungo or somebody. You know what I mean? <laughs> he didn't come out he didn't come out of there like that. Some flash in the pan type dude. And he lost to him or he beat him, but then he lost to Manny Pacquiao. Now, does that diminish him in the, you know relative to the other welterweights? Absolutely. However, that does not mean that this guy doesn't deserve a fight and he's not one of the best guys in the welterweight and one one but one of the best guys in welterweight so when I heard that he had asked for, now Keith Thurman had talked about Terrence Crawford before and said, wasn't nobody interested in that belt. It's the WB, no, right? Cause of course he's trying to make matchups, not of course, but he is trying to make matchups with the PBC fighters. And in this interview, he explains that he believes that it's easier to make a fight because you know, it's an in-house fight. Everybody, all you have to do to make the fight is talk to Al Heyman. Al Heyman talks to the other fighters. And then, you know, you can make a fight. At least that's the way Keith Thurman thinks about it, right? But that said, he said that he was willing to fight Keith Thurman. But when he, I mean, to fight Terrence Crawford. And when Terrence Crawford, when this originally came out, right? Bo Mack, who's the trainer for Terrence Crawford, immediately threw water on, the, uh, threw poor water on it by saying that Keith Thurman had asked for $10 million for the fight. So, he just priced himself out. Now, let me let me just, before I get into the rest of this, just humor me for a second while I give you an explanation about the price yourself out nonsense, which is something that Keith Thurman says. And I said, when the rumor originally came out about him asking for 10 million, my thought was he asked for 10 million, so what? Why don't you counter offer him and tell him what you can pay? And if he accepts it, he accepts it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But the way that the way that it was presented, at least the way that I saw the way that I saw it go down, was that there the Keith Thurman or somebody said, "Hey, how about Keith Thurman? Keith Thurman is a good fight for Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford doesn't have any top welterweights on his resume. So how about Keith Thurman? You don't get any better than that for guys that aren't a champion. And that's just the truth, right?" He lost, what would he say, Danny Garcia, right? 
That's a legitimate fight for Errol Spence Jr. Nobody denied that it was. Kell Brook, I thought that Kell Brook was the least acceptable but yet acceptable fight for Terrence Crawford. Kell Brook has two losses, two knockout losses on his resume, okay? Two, lockout, two knockout losses, and he hadn't fought in the weight class in years. He hadn't fought in the, in the weight class since Keith Thurman had fought in the weight class. Longer than that. But I say that I bring up Keith, I bring that up to say that Keith Thurman right now has a better resume and a better standing than, than Kell Brook has when he fought Terrence Crawford. He has a better standing than right now, or should have a better standing uh, than Danny Garcia or Keith Thurman because he beat Danny Garcia. He beat Keith Thurman. So the idea that this guy's not somebody that people should be taking seriously for a major fight to me just doesn't make sense. And it seems to me that that's more of like, like I said, like a team or like people that are, you know, really want to support um, Terrence Crawford or want to support Errol Spence Jr. that are just saying, nah, we want to get on to bigger and better things. But here's the thing. Errol Spence has a great reputation right now for fighting guys that are put that are that deserve shots. Terrence Crawford needs somebody to fight where people can say, "Yeah, you beat one of the top guys." Keith Thurman, this situation with Keith Thurman affects both of them. Cuz number on the Errol Spence side, Errol Spence said, "Look, man, I don't care. I'm not giving Keith Thurman a fight. No, I'm not fighting Keith Thurman." He's wrong about that. He's just wrong about that, and that is something that is going to make Errol Spence Jr., at least in my opinion, that's a little bit of a hit on him to me because I, my thought process is this. Just because somebody did something to you doesn't mean that you turn around and do it to them. And it's the principle of the matter that is important. Errol Spence Jr. deserved a fight with Keith Thurman, and Keith Thurman wouldn't give it to him. That is Keith Thurman mis mistreating Errol Spence, Right? And Keith Thurman, in my opinion, was wrong for that. He should have given the young man an opportunity to win the title, right? But he didn't seem like he wanted to do it. That was Keith Thurman being in the wrong. And you just take that and just put it back when it happened. Because now, Errol Spence Jr. is the WBC champion. He's the IBF champion. He ain't got a, Keith Thurman. Uh, Keith Thurman has no belts. So that whole scenario is, is gone and by. Is gone by the wayside, right? And now we're in the year 2020 going into 2021 or we're talking about the year 2021. We're not talking about the year 2018. Keith Thurman is a hungry fighter. He sounds hungry. He doesn't sound like he's retiring. He's saying that he wants to get that work and, and he's done enough to deserve it just like Errol did enough to deserve it when Errol fought when Keith wouldn't fight him. So I don't believe the two wrongs make a right. And, but more importantly, I don't. I wouldn't want to see Errol Spence start making the same mistakes that Keith Thurman made and start be, start becoming a prima donna and telling certain people who they will and who they will and who he will and who will, he will not fight based on his personal opinions of them. That no, that's a bad path to go down. The truth is, fight the guy in front of you, right? Fight the guy, and if you're not going to move up, like if he. So, for example, if he takes, if Errol takes. The Terrence Crawford fight over Keith Thurman, 100%, that's another champion. That ain't no issue with him doing that. There ain't no issue, there's no issue with him fighting Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's another champion. If he wants to move up and wait and fight Canelo, there's no problem with him doing that next. My issue is, or my thing is, and my thing is this with both him and Terrence Crawford, do not act like, like Keith Thurman is not some real fighter. He is. And if Terrence Crawford is not on his P's and Q's with Keith Thurman and Keith Thurman's hand is and what Keith Thurman is saying about his hand is true, that it's healed and he's ready to go, then dude, that's not going to be no easy. That's not going to be an easy fight for Terrence Crawford, right? Same thing. Errol Smith Jr. said that he had an injury. Well, he didn't have injuries, right? Uh, and based on that car accident, he comes out and he proves it, right? And you saw Danny Garcia because he was telling the truth. Danny Garcia was no match for him. What if Keith Thurman is telling the truth about his hand and the bone sur fusion surgery and it just took a long time for him to deal with the actual injuries, not the perception that he got that he was injured. That will take some time. And if he's feel and if he is and if he is there, he deserves the opportunity to fight for a championship. He shouldn't have to go begging everybody for this stuff, man. 
you know, he was a prima donna when he was the champion. The champions now shouldn't be prima donnas with him. At least that's my take. I certainly hope Errol Spence Jr. is not going to do that. He did say in a, in a in a tweet, like I think it was on December eighth, and I'll talk about that in another video where he said that he that everybody's going to get their turn. You know, that's probably not going to be true. But look. Keith Thurman is for real. I'm loving the fact that he said he didn't take that 10 million. He didn't ask for that 10 million. But more importantly, dude, if Terrence Crawford and Bo Mack were serious, if that was real, that 10 million, and they were really in the negotiation, they would have countered off, counter offered him, okay? And said, no, here's three, here's four. How about we do that and we make the fight? The fact that they walked away and said, oh, he asked for 10 million and walked away, that means, to me, that means that they didn't want that fight because they had no interest in actually trying to make it. It was like, give me a price right now. If I don't like it, I'm walking away. Dog, he could have said a million and a half. They still would have walked away. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace.